Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be playing with this Kiss Brush On Nail Kit, Brush On Gel Nail Kit. So I've had this kit for quite some time and I've just been hesitant to use it because I really have never used anything like this and my nails are finally starting to look somewhat healthy now. So we're going to go ahead and try this out now. My nails have nothing on them. Um, I don't know what kind of prep I should do though beforehand so I'm going to have to open it and read the directions just to see. So let's go ahead and dive on in and see what to do. Alright, so I just opened this up and it's been laying in my like nail storage area for a while. And this um, activator has leaked out some from the cap. I don't even know if I'll be able to open this cap. I'll probably have to soak it in acetone or something. But just wanted to give you a note about that. And also I did get this kit from Dollar General. So um, I'll have to look up the price of it. So I'll be right back. Alright, so the first instruction is to select the correct tip size for each finger. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be back and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so I have all of these nails out. So I'm going to go ahead and file down the length that's on my nails to where these fit properly. And then we will apply the tips. So here is our brush on gel and it feels like there's hardly anything in this bottle to be honest. I may have held on to this kit for way too long. Interesting, it looks like glue. Okay. Alrighty, so go ahead and brush some of this on the underside. It smells like glue. Looks like glue, smells like glue. It's gonna be glue, so. Brush them on. And then we apply this to our middle nail. Just like that, holding it down. Make sure it's nice and secure. And I do feel glue kind of getting on my skin. I guess maybe acetone could take care of that with um, the glue. So we're just going to keep pressing and holding until it's set. All right. And uh oh, <laughs> I'm spilling glue. Okay. And there it is. So it doesn't look too bad. I do have glue up under my nail though. Oof, super glue. It feels like super glue, guys. Super glue. But it is pretty. That is pretty. It's going to feel weird having long nails. <laughs> I've not had long nails in a really long time. So I'm going to go ahead and break off this tab. Um, yeah. We'll go ahead and take this tab off and I'll smooth that out here in a little bit. I will have to file these down because they're just way too long for me. But yeah, there is the first nail. Wow. Turned out pretty good, guys. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the other nails on camera. i got to file off some of the corners of my nails and everything and make them fit perfectly. So we will do that real quick and I'll be right back. This I'll speed through this part of applying the tips. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so here are the nails, the tips on. So I do want to give some tips on putting on these tips. Okay, so... Um, I did have to file the sides of every one of them. I was not going to be able to stand having any like um, snagging edges. So keep that in mind. I'm going to have to work on the pinky one. I kind of janked it up. I don't know. What, is that what you would call it? <laughs> janked it up. But I am going to file these down some. They're a bit long for me. Too long to be honest. So I am going to file these down. And then we will go on to the next step. It's kind of fun to tap though. I never wear nails that's long. So... Um, I'm going to file the tips down and then we'll go into brushing on the gel part and then I will get my other hand done and I will show you the finished kit, tell you how long it's taken me and tell you if how I think and actually I think I'm going to do a wear test so um, I'll check in every couple days to show you how they're wearing and uh, let you all know my overall thoughts so I'll be right back. Alright guys so finally I filed these down some. <clears throat> so I've been doing these for about an hour and this is just four fingers so I'm probably just really picky and <clears throat> most other women probably can get this done a lot faster but yeah I'm picky and I want this to look good so now we're going to move on to the next step which is 
the stuff that I've been worried about. <laughs> and you're going to need a napkin or something to wipe the nail brush on because you're going to be dipping one brush into another container. You'll see. So basically you're just making your tips pretty with this kit. It's not going on very thick. Brush cleaner. I forgot to do this step, guys. You don't want to contaminate things, so. Okay, there's the pointer finger. The pointer finger actually turned out really pretty. So we'll go back in with the gel, which is glue, to our ring finger. Guys, I am such a perfectionist. I really just want this to look perfect, but I may paint over my nails with nail polish because there is a uh, ridge there. I don't know. Alright, so here is after two coats of the gel and activator. <clears throat> it's still tacky. And I really don't care for being able to see the edge of the tip. So we're going to do something to fix that. I have some really pretty um, sheer pink gel nail polish, I think. Or just nail polish. I have a bunch of sheer pink nail polishes. And it's going to make me like this a lot better. So after this all cures and dries, we're going to paint over this. So I can tolerate it for a while with the uh, nail polish. And then I will give you my overall thoughts. I already don't care for the edge of the front, the tip showing. But on the pointer finger, that looked really good. It turned out really good. But like, if you don't do it perfectly, you can see on the written metal ring and pinky, it just looks janky and just bad. So um, I'm going to let this cure and then I'm going to do my other hand and my thumbs and um, we'll go ahead and I'll speed paint through my nails and I'll show you the finished look. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm finally done and I have a lot of mixed feelings about this kit. <laughs> And I'm very frustrated. Okay, so first of all, if you're needing length on your nails, this is awesome. Um, if you have really short nails and they're st stubborn about growing out, this will be awesome for length. Um, and yeah, that's about all I can say about it. Um, at a distance, yeah, these are going to be really pretty looking. But once you start getting really close and you can start seeing that line, um, the line for the tip, that, that can, yeah, it doesn't look very good. Uh, some thoughts, some thoughts. So the actual gel is glue. I don't know what kind of glue this is, but I'm going to tell you right now, you better have some acetone or spare brush heads or something because the brush became just completely hardened um, by the time I made it to my, my hand, my other hand. So I had to literally let it soak in acetone for probably a good 10 minutes and wipe it and then soak again and then I could use it. So yeah, um, make sure you keep some acetone on the side handy. I highly recommend it. Okay, um, and the whole like um, brush and then clean and then brush method is tedious and annoying. This 
whatever this is it's like a clear topper i don't know what they're calling gel i mean there is like no gel in here so um now i want to say that you could make this look really good by going ahead and painting over this with the color and nobody would know any better and they just see pretty long nails so i'm probably going to paint a color of essie's mademoiselle over this just to make it a bit more tolerable um but yeah there is the finished mani three hours later guys three hours later um i struggled and mainly it's because i filed them down so much and i'm perfectionist i want them to look perfect so if you're doing it you may not need to file them down like i did and my hands are so cold um but yeah let me know what you think of this kit it's very very interesting to say the least i don't think i'll be buying it again just because it's tedious um, and I was very frustrated by the end with the brush from this um, super actually let me show you real quick what I was dealing with it's already hardened back up again see I can barely get the brush to fan out it's like super duper hard it doesn't fan out and it makes lines it just doesn't look good for some reason my pinky nail decided to not dry properly so it's really rough. I'm going to have to smooth that out. And then I will paint Essie Mademoiselle over these. And I will really enjoy them. I was going to do a wear test over these. On these. Whatever. But I don't think so. Um, just because I'm painting over them. I mean I could. I could show like a, another a wear test. A different video. Showing how they look. Um, but yeah. That is the kit. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hope this helped you. If you're needing something for length, then yeah, I recommend it. Um, and if you want really long nails and you don't feel like filing them like I did. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Um, I will show a really quick clip after I've got Essie Mademoiselle over top. I'll show you how it looks. So I'll be right back. All right, so here is um, one coat of Essie's Mademoiselle over top. And it did make these look a lot more better <laughs> i might do one more coat but i don't know i don't know what do you guys think um i could deal with this for about a week so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on this kit and i will see you all very very soon now if you do an opaque color over this then you probably could tolerate it for a lot longer so yeah i'll see you all soon